My name is Brother Martin Mary. I'm from Mount Carmel Hermitage in Cristobal, Texas. And um, my, the, the beginning of my vocation story is, uh, comes through my mother and through our Heavenly Mother, Our Lady Mount Carmel. Uh, my mother, when I was 14 years old, she gave me the brown scapular. And ever since, ever since then, I always found, uh, even when I didn't know what the brown scapular was, I always wore it because there was something that told me that, there was someone that told me that it was important. And I always had that sense that it was important to, to wear it and to, and to keep it on. Um, and then, uh, you know, over the, over the course of time and when I had gone to college and had uh, fallen away from the church, uh, you know, I didn't go to church on Sundays. Um, and, uh, and, and, and so, you know, obviously fell into a more of a worldly life and, and, uh, and, 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 staying, and falling away from God and, and losing importance in the, in the, in the, the things that, that, are, that are important. Um, my mother wrote me a letter explaining to me a few things, you know, uh, that it was important to, to, uh, to, to, get, to get straight with the church and to, to go to confession, those type of things. And, and her, through her prayers and through her, um, through her help, I made a confession after not having gone to confession after a long time. And uh, after that confession was really when uh, the Lord started to work very powerfully in my life. Uh, you know, he led me not not only to to attend mass on Sundays like like normal, but also I began to go to mass every day, and uh, and started to pray the rosary, um, and and join prayer groups and and, get, and to find importance in prayer. And at that time, I was uh, in a very uh, pivotal point in my life, which was I was discerning uh, whether or not I should go to med school. Um, I had been in the college pre med program. For uh, for four years, and and uh, and had already taken the test that I needed to take, and I was already signing and uh, filling out the applications for med school, and in that time is when I realized, uh, you know, by the grace of God, that 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 it would have been the wrong way to go to go to med school, and considering that um, the, the the powerful things that the Lord was allowing uh, to happen to me through prayer, and how important prayer was in my day and in my life. Um, and how much it allowed me to grow, uh, I realized that if I was going to go to med school for six years uh, and do that alone, there would be really no time for prayer. So uh, I felt like I needed to, to continue on the path that I was going. Of course, I didn't know what I wanted to do yet, but I felt like it was, that I needed to, uh, I needed to find a, a way that I could be consecrated to the Lord exclusively. Um, but I didn't, you know, in, in, in researching religious orders and things like that, I didn't really know uh, what to do um, until a deacon, uh, he, he, he would uh, assist at Mass in the mornings where I used to go to church, and he had visited uh, this place, Mount Carmel Hermitage in Cristobal, Texas. Uh, he had come here for a retreat, and in that, in that time, uh, he came back and he told me about this place, and he said, you need to go look at it, you need to go check it out. So I arranged, uh, arranged a visit. I came down here and, 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 and right away, uh, you know, the, I stayed here for a weekend. And then for the, the I, did, I had a good sense here while I was here for those few days. And then when I was driving away, going back home was when I, it really hit me right away. I knew that I, in my heart, I didn't want to go back home. I wanted to stay. And, uh, and of course, I did have to go back home because I needed to uh, to to tie things up and, and to uh, to close, you know, the rest of my life so that I could so that I could make the decision to enter here. Uh, but I knew I knew right away that I needed to get rid of all of the things that I had, and I was driving a truck, and I needed to get rid of the truck, and and I needed to uh, to be consecrated exclusively to the Lord. Um, so when uh, after having experienced the way of life here, which is a contemplative life, uh, we, we, we don't have any active ministry here. Our life is a simple life of prayer and work. It's a hidden life of, with Christ and, um, and, and, and also devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary uh, as, as you know, our order is the order of the Blessed Virgin Mary Mount Carmel. So, so uh, you know, all of those things came together in realizing that um, prayer needed to be for me. The Lord was calling me to a life of 100% of, of, uh, commitment in prayer and, and finding that here a place where, where we have, you know, we follow all the, all the hours of the office, 
we, we also have an hour of meditation in the morning, an hour of meditation in the evening, um, which is part of Carmelite tradition. All of those things, also having the, the, the cells, we have individual cells here, uh, rather than the cells all in one place, like in a big monastery. This is a hermitage, so, so our cells are separate. And we, each one of the hermits has his own cell and his own uh, garden uh, that it's part of the cell that's enclosed. And so all of those things, you know, that having the solitude uh, at, that, at that time was very important to me. Um, and then slowly realizing also the great blessing that we have in living a community life together. Uh, the support that we have, we support one another in our prayer and in our work, and uh, and the, the the balance that 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 I found here at Mount Carmel Hermitage uh, was seemed to suit me perfectly. It seemed to be the thing that the Lord was calling me to, and uh, and and it was in my heart from that time, when the time when I was driving away until I had visited other communities, and I tried to give everything I could to those communities and say see if the Lord was calling me there. But it had been placed in my heart to be here, and by the grace of God. It has it's never changed. It's always been, uh, I've always had that. It's always uh, been a part of my life that, 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 that I've never wanted to change. Uh, and by the grace of God, I never, it never will. Uh, I took my solemn vows uh, this year, um, just a couple of months ago. And, and the, the, that same idea is, is there. The same feeling is there. Uh, I, I never have wanted to go anywhere else. Uh, I've always felt like this is the place where I needed to be. And, uh, and it has been a blessing. It has been a blessing that I can't even, it's very difficult to describe because it's in so many ways uh, has been uh, a way for me to grow uh, as a person, to grow in my relationship with the Lord, uh, to understand what the meaning of prayer and its importance, the meaning of work, and we do work very hard here, uh, the meaning of work and its importance in our life and how it, it's able to, uh, to, to, to purify the soul and to rid the soul and the mind of so many uh, preoccupations and things like that. And I have to say that, um, that God has worked very powerfully in my life to bring me to a commitment such as this. And, uh, and for those of you who feel you might have a way, uh, a calling to this way of life, um, it's, it's really, really important that you visit the type of place that you might feel called to or this type of place. Um, because that's the only way that you can know if it's for you. Uh, and, and, and once you go and you experience it, then, then, then that's, you know, if, you, if it's a place in your heart, then you know that's the place that you're called to. Um, if not, then, you know, you, you'll always be thinking, what if, what if this, what if that, and, and it, it eats, eats away at you, you know. And the Lord never gives up. He always uh, keeps calling. So uh, that's, my, that's my story.